<clears throat> Hello Cancer, how are you? I hope you are very, very well. My name is Madame Butterfly and this is going to be a messages from your person for December, Cancer, but also, you know, it is a timeless reading, so whenever you happen to catch it is, you know, when you were supposed to get it. Um, you are very, very welcome here, as always Cancer, you are so welcome here. Thank you very much for checking out, you know, taking the time to check out the reading. Um, I hope it resonates with you. If it does, you know, don't forget to like and subscribe for me. If you feel like doing that, of course. Oh my god, that was crap. Spirit. So what would Cancer's person like to say to them? You could be dealing with a Taurus or an Earth sign. You could also be dealing with a Leo. Okay, this is good. It's a lot of very positive signs at uh, cards in here. Let me just clarify. Whoever this person is, I want to say they're very traditional. <laughs> the sun and the moon. Okay, they're very, very passionate about you. Um, five of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. They're very, very passionate about you. Knight of Wands, Ace of Wands. Very, very passionate. Could be a fire sign. You also have, like I said, you have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. Heavy Taurus, heavy Capricorn. You also have Leo and Pisces. Looks to me like this person um, has a lot of responsibilities in some way. They have a lot of stuff going on. They have a lot of responsibilities they need to balance um, with the King of Pentacles. They could be having some money problems with that five of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. It came out like that, didn't it? Very, very passionate about you. There is a desire. I do think this person is going to come in kind of quickly. It's going to be kind of spur of the moment when they come in. Like a little, um, not necessarily chaotic, but... I'm just going to appear with the hierophant here and the devil I do I feel like you're you're dealing with someone that's quite traditional maybe to the point where it's, it's almost like a hindrance for this person like maybe they have certain ideals about the way they're supposed to act in some sense like they might have some kind of ideals about marriage or something like that There's a lot um, going on under the surface with this person. 
See, like on the surface here, they have the sun, and then underneath it, you have the moon. So it's like, I feel like on the surface, this person is, um, you know, very happy, like very positive kind of energy. Like they, they're very vitalis, vital. That's not a word. <laughs> Vita have a lot of vitality. Oh my god, I don't know what the other word I was trying to think of was. They have a lot of vitality. Like they're very kind of in charge in some way but I feel like with the moon here there's like a lot with this person there's like actually a lot of emotions that go unsaid with this person I actually feel like they're quite emotional they just don't show it to anyone basically um there's some subconscious fears going on with this person but they're getting past that with the sun I do feel with the King of Pentacles and the Hierophant, like they're really very traditional, this person. I do really feel they like to present themselves as this King of Pentacles. You know, like always in control. Um, you know, maybe having a lot of money or they like to appear that they have a lot of money or they're a good provider. You know, they, they they seem to be someone who has a lot of responsibilities, but I feel like underneath it, they're kind of struggling a little bit to maintain. I don't, you know, it's like a swan. You know, I feel like on the surface, this person is very kind of calm and collected and they want to make everybody think they have their shit together. But underneath it, there's like the little legs are going, <laughs> you know, 100 mile an hour. And they're working, they're actually working very hard to maintain their composure. And I think they're, they, they might be not struggling financially, though some of them could be with this Five of Pentacles, but I think they have a lot going on. Some of them are struggling to balance their finances. With the Hierophant, like this person could appear, they could physically be a teacher. Um, or they could be like in some kind of position of authority here where people look up to them in some way. But I do feel with this Capricorn card, sorry, the devil, you could definitely be dealing with a Capricorn. Um, the devil card, there's like a lot underneath the surface with this person. There's like insecurities that hold them back. They could also be married to someone that has uh, some kind of addiction. With the Ten of Swords here, and this Four of Pentacles, excuse me, I'm losing my voice, <clears throat> usually means there's something unsaid. There's something that's not been said here. <clears throat> Let's clarify, the Ten of Swords with the Four of Pentacles. <clears throat> Why is that Ten of Swords there? guys all right this person's in a marriage or they're in a relationship with this queen um see how the backs are turned to each other sorry see how the backs are turned i think they're in some kind of they're in a relationship but it's like perfunctory like it's over it's done the relationship is done with the Ten of Swords here, it's it's done. But they're clinging on to it. For some reason with this Four of Pentacles, <clears throat> they're clinging on to it. It could just be that they feel very responsible for this person, like all these Pentacles here, I feel like this person might be like financially responsible for them in some way. This person could be the mother of their children. Um, there's a lot of anxiety. <clears throat> See, they're not speaking up. <clears throat> I see how my voice is going. It always does that when it's talking about someone that doesn't speak up. I feel like there's a lot unsaid. <clears throat> In the Nine of Swords here, there's like a lot of... Um, anxiety here. I feel like they want to leave. I feel like there's like this being left out in the cold here. 
but they stay because they're very virtuous, whoever this person is. You know, they always do the right thing. <clears throat> Interesting reading, Cancer. Okay, let's see what's going to happen then. Right, what have we got here? You have a star in the world. I've just flipped out. Um, there's going to be an ending, I think. With the world and the star, I think there's going to be an ending here and some kind of healing brought in. I think it's going to be an ending to this relationship that they're in. Because sometimes when that Queen of Pentacles appears like that for me, she's someone perfunctory. It's like a marriage that's kind of I don't want to say there's no love because obviously there will be some level of love, you know, because they wouldn't stay with this person. That's no, I'm not going to say that, you know, I just want to say like, I feel like it was run its course is what I want to say with this person. So this could be a marriage or a long term relationship. They could be engaged or something like that. But it's like because like they, they want to appear to be the good person. You know, and I don't mean that in a negative way, but it's like this person hold yep, Emperor at the bottom of the deck, this person holds themselves to certain standards. And I think they feel like leaving this person would make them a dick, basically. Or you know, they have this like appearance of themselves that they want to uphold. You know, like always responsible, always does the right thing, the good guy or the good person. Clarify these cards, please, Spirit. Give me a line for this bottom section. person is confused <clears throat> with the seven of cups here at the bottom of the deck. They're confused because they don't know which way to go. This is definitely about a long-term commitment here that's ending or it's run its course basically. I feel the person that they're with is very unstable in some way. Like I said with the devil they could have an addiction. Um, like they could be an alcoholic or a drug addict or they could gamble or something like that. Or this person is very toxic in some way. But I feel this person is unbalanced with the seven of wands here. And I... Yeah. Yeah, I feel they're unbalanced. I feel it's an unbalanced connection. There's definitely they're coming into a better place though with the temperance card here. I just feel like this person spends all their time trying to balance like this person's energies with their own. To be honest, because you have the, the two of pentacles here and often this temperance card comes up when you're talking about balancing two separate things, you know, like, sorry, let me just, when you're balancing two different aspects, you know, and trying to, you know, like positive and negative, for example, like you're trying to balance these aspects. And I feel like your person tries very, very hard to do it with this person. I feel they've been with this person for a while. 
which is the reason they're reluctant to leave, you know? Star again. <clears throat> the star and the four of wands. Why is that there? I feel they're being guided towards you. I feel there's an ending with this marriage or this relationship that they're in. See them walking away because they want peace. Like they want peace and stability. Like they want a happy home. I feel like they're very much not in a happy home at the moment. And you know what? I feel like it's going to crumble kind of quick with this person they're with. I feel like one day this person is just going to blurt it out. Clarify this four of swords, please. A lot of, they're really doing a lot of thinking. You're in separation from this person at the moment and basically they're using this time to worry. <laughs> like they're very, very worried. Something is going to shift here with this sun. This person's gonna have some kind of like epiphany. Clarify that Knight of Wands, please. Yeah, they're going to move towards you. I don't know when, but they are going to move towards you because they're gathering. There's going to, it's going to come to a point where they have the momentum and they have everything they need and they have like the confidence to move towards you because they see happiness with you. Like they see positivity and like a happy, they see, they see a happy life with you. I feel they give to this person. I feel this person is like, they either give them a lot of money or they're the provider or they do a lot in the house or something, you know, like they, they like take care of this person in some way. They're very tired. They're very, very tired, but I, f I see them coming towards you. <clears throat> They're very unhappy where they are now. Okay. Um, what else would Cancer's person like to say to them? You are always on my mind. So this person thinks about you a lot. Whoa. Don't rush in, take your time. I was actually going to say that a few minutes ago. I was like, don't expect this person to rush. Because the King of Pentacles and the Hierophant is not the kind of person that rushes, you know? Um, I'm going to reshuffle that other one, even though it's a nice card. <clears throat> and one more, please. What else would. Um... Okay. Throw it on the floor then, why don't you? Spying on you. So they're keeping an eye on you somehow, whether that's like, you know, that can mean different things though, like, you know, driving by your house at night, <laughs> I'm kidding, um, you know, getting readings done on you, like spying on you, you know, energetically, because um, that's a thing, don't let anybody tell you it's not, that's a thing. But yeah, I see them coming towards you, because they're very unhappy where they are. 
just get one more. One more for this person's action towards cancer. They've been very, like with the moon here, they've been very, very unsure <clears throat> as to which way to go. I think there's some fear here and it's related to, it's like because they've been with this person for so long. I feel like it's just, there's an element with this of like, the familiarity is soothing to them, even though it's toxic, you know. But the sun is coming out, you know, to kind of guide the way. Whoa. <clears throat> I'm just going to take this one. So you have the five of cups here. <clears throat> For action this person is going to take towards you. So, you know, they don't want to repeat the same mistakes of the past. You know, they're going to kind of pull their head out of their ass and like move on from this. Because I think at the moment, I think it's just been... This could also be that they were with this person in the past and they recently left or something and they're sad about that. But, you know, the Five of Cups as an action is kind of not letting the past influence your future really. You know, not making the same mistakes that you did before. So what action is this person going to take towards cancer, please? I think they're very worried that they've messed this up with you. Like that you've, you've gone, you've left, you've moved on. Because I think you made them very, very happy. However you knew each other. Maybe you used to work together and then you left or something. Ace of Swords, there's gonna be communication, okay? They are gonna, there's gonna be like a breakthrough in this, yeah, look. Wow, you have three aces in this reading, Cancer. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, and Ace of Swords. So expect a communication and expect this person to offer you a future. I don't know when it's going to be, okay? And I'm not saying you should wait. I'm just reading the cards. <laughs> so I'm going to leave it there, Cancer. I hope you enjoyed the reading. It was a pleasure to read for you. Thank you very much for being here. Take care, Cancer, and lots of love.